you know, it's a wonderful. Uh, some of these guys I've stepped, I've kept in touch with over the years, and some of them you just lose contact with, and it's a it's a great thing that the athletic department's doing, sponsoring this and having us all back, and it's a lot of fun getting to catch up. And people may not realize this, but we don't stand around talking about the old games. We ask about your kids and your wife and all that stuff and find out about their family so it's it's real uh personal and and you know i love these guys you know it feels great it's uh you know you go back and think it's been you know so long and being here tonight with everybody you know it's awesome because you don't get to see them every day you don't see them every year you know and it's the only time you really get to sit now, now everybody lives so far away that you know that you have to have a special occasion like this to bring everybody together so it's awesome I'm loving every minute of it. Coach Dow always talk about growing and maturing, and that during that time, Coach Dow really helped us grow. So seeing all the guys, and we all have our AARP cards, and the grandchildren, we great, no ball head or gray hair. It's been a great, it's been great. You know, we beat Alabama again for a second year. We beat Georgia. They had won three straight uh, SEC championships, and we beat them in Athens, and uh, really had a great, you know, game. Uh, the score really didn't, I didn't think, reflect how well we played against Georgia that year. And our goal was always to make it to the Sugar Bowl as the SEC champion. We were able to do that and able to beat Michigan. Starting with Greg Pratt, that was a big tragedy as a team. But what I do remember is family. I remember us coming together. I remember us making things happen on behalf of Greg. And, and our Coach Dye kept reminding us that, hey, we can pull together for Greg and win. You know, it's a lot of memories when you, you know, if you're going to talk football, you can go back, the uh, Florida game was special, the Georgia game, the Alabama game. Uh, I, I think the most thing about it is that when we came in in August, and, and you know, and a lot of people probably don't remember Greg Pratt, you know, who was the fullback for us. And, and uh, when we got ready to start up practice, he lost his life uh, on a conditioning run. And that year was, was special because, we, we, you know, we wanted to do something for him and, and, and I think that's what set it all off, and that's what made it special. I love this year's team. I, I talked to Philip Lutzenkirchen yesterday, and I told him, I said, you know, Philip, I said 2010 was an unbelievable season and kind of came out of the blue. I said, but I'm having more fun watching this team, I think, than even in 2010 because you know, halfway through 2010, you kind of had a feeling that maybe this could be a special year. But this year's team, you know, nobody picked them to do much of anything. I'm so happy for them. I'm so pleased, you know, that, that the coaching staff has come together and they've got them playing so hard and they're so confident. You know, we're in the fans, we're in the stands as fans and we get nervous. Those guys on the field aren't nervous and they feel like they can win. And, you know, it's going to be, uh, really a lot of fun to see what happens and what plays out the rest of the year. This year, they're working together. Coach Malzahn done a great job, been a great example. Coach Gardner, which I played with, we love to see that they're doing a great job in building unity, teaching the guys to have confidence in themselves, look like they're studying their plays, you know? And so I'm very proud, and it means a lot to me that we're winning. And now we're on a national, more on a national stage because we beat Texas.